In this video, we will see how to make a synthesis of 7-hydroxy-4-methylcumarin. 7-hydroxy-4-methylcumarin or hymecrimone is used as an insecticide and in the manufacture of drugs for the treatment of bile or as an anticoagulant. One of the most commonly used drugs, as an anticoagulant, is a coumarin derived called a senecumarol or with the trade name Sintron. It is also studied as an antifalon marine. Hymochromone is obtained from resorcinol and ethyl acetoacetate catalyzed by concentrated sulfur acid. To obtain the hymochromone, first dissolve 7.5 grams of resorcinol into 10 milliliters of ethyl acetoacetate. Slight heating may be needed for complete dilution. In a 250 ml flask with a cold bath, we add 75 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and equip it with a thermometer and an addition funnel. We cooled the sulfuric acid within cool bath. I use a solution of 75% propylene glycol in water and chilled in the freezer. We put the resorcinol solution in the addition funnel. Once the temperature of the sulfuric acid is below 10 C, the resorcinol solution is added with a slow dropping. Do not let the temperature increase more than 10 degrees Celsius while adding. After all the resorcinol had been added, it was left at room temperature for 18 hours. After this time, the mixture is poured into a 500 ml beaker with 220 ml of water and 150 g of ground ice with stirring. Collect precipitation by suction. Wash three times with 5 ml of cold water. For purification, the obtained solid is diluted in 120 ml of 20% sodium hydroxide. To reprecipitate hymochromone, acidify with 2m sulfuric acid. From 40 to 50 milliliters of acid was used to reach pH 2. Refrigerate to precipitate as much hymochromone as possible. Collet the precipitation by suction and wash four times with 10 milliliters of cold water. Hymochromone is recrystallized in ethanol. Collect the crystals we dried it in a 100 C oven. We determine the melting point. The theoretical melting point is 185 C, and in our test it was 187 C. Hymochromone fluoresces into solution once irradiated with ultraviolet light. For the test, we mix 1 ml of water and 1 ml of ethanol in two vials.
In one of these a small amount of hemochromone is added and agitated to dilute. These are irradiated with ultraviolet rays and the fluorescence of the vial containing hemochromone can be observed. 